Right, I'm being interfered and attacked by Freddy, the kitten who's all over my work table here on my right. He'll be on the painting table, no doubt, in a minute. He's growing quite fast. He's four months old nearly. Lovely, lovely cat. Lovely nature. Very, very friendly with people. He's, uh, and in the two months that we've had him, or two months he came end of November, or into, so December, so he's probably for another seven weeks. Now he's going to be, drink the painting water. Well, good luck to you, mate. Bit of burnt sienna in the sky. Painting Lake Districts again today. I'm just having a morning doing this. I use uh, use um, some burnt sienna in the sky. Now come on, Freddy. Come on. Now there he is. Show yourself off, Freddy. Big smile for the camera. There he is. Look. He's putting on a bit of weight now. The, oh. <laughs> well, all the time we've had him, he's not scratched in anger. He's put up with all sorts of love, but he gives it all back. He's a smashing little fella. Right, now, um, let's clean my palace a bit. Like, this is the second time I, I made a full start on the previous one, so. I've just I just turned it over and painted from the other side. If this one doesn't work, it'll end up as an acrylic support, which is fine when I get around to doing some acrylics. But I'm enjoying my watercolours at the moment. I've got a little bit of a renaissance with them. So I'll uh, just I want threatening skies for this these Lake District ones. So. down to over the uh, bit of burnt sienna in there as well I think. And we've got a big cloud coming across the mountain tops. But one, you, when you're painting on wet paper you need to make the paint quite thick otherwise it, it will just bleed into the or merge into the, the background paint. So we just add a bit more in there. That's okay. We'll, we'll see what happens to this. So the paper itself is, is going to be a bit uh, damp from the previous painting on the other side. I'll just reclip it. A bit. So that'll be okay. That'll keep it damp a bit longer from the inside. Okay. Just take off. I'm using the hate that was kept splitting. It still has a tendency to split, but losing hairs. But I might as well try to get some more life out of it because it's it's only halfway through its life. But I did have a problem with it. I'm using Fabriano paper for all these. Uh, I, I'm going to just dry that off a bit. Just taking the shine off the paper. Sorry if I did that without warning. Now I'm working from um, some photographs I took from the television, but I'm only using them as just a base. I'm not sort of copying or anything. That's gone down a bit too far there. So we want a bit of bit of distance. Usually those colours, those three colours. So we'll. Coming up here to some nice peaks. That won't get answered. Just bring that down. We can just put in a little bit of bit of colour in, in that while well, that's go away. Okay. Just get a, an edge. Or a straight horizon there, anyway. Uh, I'll come down a bit lower to, because where the paint has 
read into the the murk. Oh. I might clean that out a little bit. There's no detail in that really. That's why I actually so use my hair dry again, so take your headphones off if you're listening on headphones. So we're going with some heavier, warmer, warmer dark. There is an island that I can see, so someone can tell me which which lake this is because I'm not sure. Well, you won't be able to recognise it anyway, I thought. But anyway. Comes down just a little bit below that horizon, so okay. I'm coming down to there. So now on the top of this, these cliffs or these mountainous hills, we've got some yellow. So I'm just going to put that in. It's good, nice high peak. Very the colours here. Then we'll kind of go back to the uh, the lovely darks, using mostly sky colours. There a bit and then up there. Hello Freddie again. Okay. There's various the, 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 what I'm working from is overexposed, so I'm just making this up really. So I don't know what's in there. Just dark. Some dogs in down here. Freddie, I can hear you. What are you up to? These are trees and all so I'll, I'll just I'll add some bits and pieces in there. But these aren't lakes in the sense that the Great Lakes in America are lakes. This is UK. Uh, now we've got a lot of um, silhouetted uh, land here so we'll, we'll show that but broken to show bits of water in there down there and I'll use lots of warm colours here a bit of red a bit, bit of uh, yellow raw sienna then we can put a bit of that Rocky shore in. Now I'm just mixing dry colours here. Just 
the wood blew, go away then, went off. Oh. Many disasters in this today, this way. down to Freddie, I'm afraid. Right, I've, I've painted this dark and warm because this is where I want to etch out some, some rocks. Okay, so. Okay, now with my what I've lost, for anyone who done them, I had some uh, pieces of plastic card. Oh, I don't know the brushes found. Sorry, Freddie, I blamed you for it. it wasn't your fault. Right, I'm just going to take out some some rocks. This is a great way to to show go away. To show um, rocks in, uh, in mountains, uh, seashores, beaches, but there's always a danger that you, you make them all the same, and, and that, that wouldn't be quite right. So let's just put a bit of detail in across here, which doesn't exist. But okay. So that I'm doing. Now what I want to do is just to take out that. That's gone horribly wrong there. So it's a clean piece of tissue. Um, the, the brush, an inch brush. So let's just, just soften the paper again. Okay? Soften the paint. So just blot it out. It, it won't go completely but we can't. We can't help that. That's better. It won't, it won't show, but too much. It shows in the in the flesh, so to speak, but it won't show very much in the, in the camera. I don't think. I needed to get that straight there, really. Okay, that, that will do, that will do for there. Uh, right now we're, let's uh, invent some, some poetic license. I'll use a, okay, go. Freddy, go away. I think he's just sort of all my paint. Go away. Okay. Now I can't see too much detail, so we'll just just start texturing a little bit. You do this, you can put grasses and things sticking up out of the low water there and just put the reflections underneath just to create that then create that impression of water and now we'll, we'll have some some dark bits and pieces here Right, I'm going to do a good dry and I want to do some dry brush on the water. Take your headphones off.
what I've got. I know it's a bit corny, but uh, but it does it does work. I'm going to put some little boats in there in the distance, just tiny. Bigger one in here. Okay, that'll do. That'll do. Right. Um, now we've got reflections coming down from there in, that, that I can see on the painting, um, but I'm not really sure. But I'm going to just dry brush it. I think that's the safest thing to do. Yeah. So I'll use the sky colours: the blue, bit of red, bit of sienna. Uh, just, just, just. We'll have a bit of, bit of uh, dry brush in there just to show the landscape just reflecting in the broken water. Right, that I think is about all I'm going to do on that one. I'm, maybe this is one too many today, but I'll put in a bird where I've got little blobs. These do look better on the screen, some of them, than in, in the flesh. And this is one reason why I stopped eBay because you, you take a punt when you when you buy online for something as uh, subjective as a watercolor or a, a painting, and when you receive your little package and a tube. Open it up, you look at it, you think, well, it doesn't look as it did on the screen. So these things are better seen in the flesh. So I, um, well, I don't reckon I've had a very good job of that one. But somebody would probably like it and would like to buy it. In this case, you can come to my house in London. Well, there we are. Well, it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, there again, you see, it doesn't look too bad. I'll put it in a mount and then we'll we'll have a, a better look. That's a much better guide. Because they, they all look better in, in a mount or frame. It gives an idea of what it would look like in a frame. Uh, which one should I use? I've got blue in it, so I'll use the blue mount in it. Quite a lot of blue in that. <coughs> so, let's come down a little bit. Uh, oh, that's all right. That that will do. I, mm, well, let me know what you think. I'll just zoom in a little bit. Well, I don't know. Anyway, thanks for watching. Thanks for putting up with my chat. Bye-bye.